TV. And today's featured guest is JTM. They always have student favorites, so I'm excited to see what they'll bring. Me too, but you know what? First, the ICN resource of the day. This colorful 17 by 22 inch poster offers at a glance information on recipe abbreviations, measurement conversions, portioning tools, and steam table pan capacity. A must have for every kitchen for on the job quick reference. Brought to you by the Institute of Child Nutrition. Well, clearly from this array of tasty treats that we see here, I keep the hand back, okay? I'm just trying to get closer to the food. I know. He, he just wants, he <laughs> wants to it, eat it. Feed it all to me. <laughs> it's so good. He can't resist. <laughs> Alice and Amy, yes. thank you for being here today. Uh, you. What are your official titles with JTM? So I'm Allison Powers. I am a regional sales manager serving the Midwestern Territory. And I'm Amy McAdams. I'm senior marketing manager at JTM for about seven, eight years now. <laughs> yeah. And you guys work for an incredible brand who have really established themselves as partners in our industry. You guys have won so many awards mm -hmm. for all of the wonderful things that you folks do. Uh, but what are your favorite things about working with JTM? I just absolutely love the family-owned company, the fact that there's a lot of flexibility. They give me so much autonomy to be creative and serve our customers the best that we can. And you actually used to be a customer, right? Don't, don't you come yeah, from school food? That, that's exactly right. So I was a former assistant food service director with a school district in Indianapolis, then came over to the food manufacturing side, and everything's been rosy ever since. <laughs> like Allison said, just the whole family-owned co company, mm -hmm. it's got a great culture. We have great people, a lot of creative staff all around us. It helps make our jobs really easy. Yeah. Well, you guys are celebrating a birthday, but we can we talk are. about that maybe towards the end of our episode. Mm -hmm. But so 40 years this year, mm -hmm. but a great big part of what makes you guys super affordable is your commodity processing, which you've been doing for about 25 mm -hmm. years now. That's correct. Yep. We currently process beef, turkey, pork, cheese, mm -hmm. and tomato paste with cheese being our fastest growing category of processing. So well, it's been great yes. experience. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, lots of folks on our team that are really active with USDA and ACTA and the organization. So us being able to understand how that all works really helps us serve the client a lot better, or the customers a lot better. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So. And of course, price point is always the bottom line. Everybody's pinching pennies really to make it work, especially in this timeline. Mm -hmm. So the commodity processing is just that added value and the food tastes amazing. Mm -hmm. It sure does. Do you know what their most popular product is? I don't, but I'm sure you're about to tell me. I am going to tell you. Okay. It's, it's probably the taco filling, right? Da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what you guys are known for, but this taco filling mm -hmm. is not just for schools or K-12. These, This is being used in collegiate healthcare. You mm -hmm. have a bunch of different kinds. Tell us all the things about the taco meat. Absolutely. So this particular taco meat is my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, so it's actually an allergen-free, gluten-free, mm -hmm. all beef, 100% beef taco meat. My fave. So literally it's just ground beef uh, which is commodity eligible with some taco seasonings added to it so it's super versatile and you can add it in a variety of items just like you see right here mm -hmm. yeah and it's super easy to portion i think the other thing too while we have our premium line we mm -hmm. also have a signature line for people that might need a little bit lower of a price point or to mm -hmm. stretch your commodities a little bit more so um, we do have variety for everybody depending on what your needs are and what the students tastes are so versatility flexibility and different products for different markets yeah. but always high on taste. Clean label, ground beef, a little bit of cumin. So really right. nice, that right? Yeah. Nope. And it's real beef. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, exactly right. Exactly. And right. again, mm -hmm. this just provides you with so many different ways. So, mm -hmm. you know, we always say you got your chicken nuggets, your all of those days, but mm -hmm. tacos are such a mm -hmm. popular item, but you can take that and create so many different meals with that. So mm -hmm. really leveraging one product <laughs> to make multiple <laughs> menu applications. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Easy to portion whether you're in the classroom or um, eating traditional setting, yeah. try to think about the different ways that it can be served as well. So street tacos, this is a really great option. We've created that munchable on the go meal. So you've got all of your components here, the two meats, two grains coming from the flatbread rounds. And then the kids have the flexibility of making it their own. So they can dress it themselves. It's just really fun. And the kids love that customization. Can you do me a favor and make that my own? Oh, yeah. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> no, I said you make it my own. You want me to make it for you? I'm asking you to make it for me. Okay. All right. Yeah. He's so great. So while I create him, uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna actually make 
this. My own. For yeah. him. Yeah. Right. Okay. Marlon's exactly. Yep. Marlon's, Marlon's munchable. Hey. You heard well, it here first. Marlon's munchable. <laughs> I love it. We're going it's after so great. It. Yes. So, I mean, I'm going to put the sour cream. I'm not going to, you know what? Maybe I need to stay out of this. Why I'm not? Just gonna need, because I'm just going to tell you how to do it, and then I'm going to get bossy, and it's a chef thing. Exactly. Awesome. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. To each his own. I know. Now, one of the things that you folks say is it's kettle cooked. So we're actually purchasing the JTM beef because we are a part of that, what we're calling like the scratch-based cooking sure. or speed scratch, speed right? Scratch. Absolutely. And I think that's what most of the school districts are doing across the country is the quality and integrity of our programs is just so strong. They're utilizing these commodity products. The, and the term processing is so negative and mm -hmm. it shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. There's some, There's this wonderful raw USDA beef that comes into JTM, we process it with a high integrity, give you a product that's great for speed scratch cooking because nobody has the time to do that anymore. And it's consistent. It you got it. What is speed speed scratch cooking? I have <laughs> no question. idea what that is. Great question. <laughs> it's a little semi-homemade. You okay. have one ingredient, you add a couple fresh other items, and you make it your own, and then you have this okay. semi-homemade Gotcha. At JTM, you know, we mm -hmm. try to even tell our own employees we're creating great dishes together and so it really is about layering flavors or layering seasonings mm -hmm. taking to heart that you're feeding people all over the country and so um just internally it's part of our culture to think about we're going to do that and then we want to work with you guys to show you how that product can work in your operation and what it can do to kind of strengthen your menus to allow you to focus on maybe some other things. Mm -hmm. um, I'm noticing one thing. I'm, I'm noticing this uh, new logo. Yes. I mean, this is a little different from what I've seen in the past. Absolutely. I'll it, let Amy take yeah, it away. Yeah, so we did, uh, in January, we launched a new logo and a new brand. Uh, we had had the same look for about 20 some years and um, really rich in colors. But what we found out was we wanted to get back to what we're good at and what our roots are. So mm -hmm. our family, or our company is made up of a family, the Moss family and the Kern family are active. We have three generations mm -hmm. that are currently working within the company. And so the dots sort of represent those three generations. And then we also implies forward moment, movement. So as we have our 40th birthday, we're looking forward to what we can do and what we can provide and regrounding in what we're really good at which is those kettle crafted culinary solutions. Mm. So I love that yeah. kettle exactly. crafted culinary solutions. So what does JTM stand for? John Thomas Moss okay. is the founder of the company, had a West Side butcher shop back in the day as all of his family worked within the company. And then most of the family members have a J or a T or an M within the name. Gotcha. So. So you have a lot of different items on the counter here. Can you talk to us a little bit more about the versatility? Absolutely. So just as Amanda said, these are great commodity processed items that are clean, simple, and provide an even palette to be diversified throughout the country. So every different region has different tastes. And so they can spin this in a way that's a little bit more, um, you know, for the Southwestern region, may not be, may prefer something more spicy, whereas another, maybe in the Midwest region, they want something a little bit more mild. So it's an even keeled palette where you can add some seasonings and spices to Are it. Are these tachos? You got it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Tachos, tachos, I feel like those are everywhere. This is like the hottest new menu item. I love it. So what's, what's in there? What is a tacho? So, yeah, okay. that is a bed of lovely tater tots topped with our premium all beef taco filling, a yeah. little bit of hatch queso garnished with there's we some, some tomatoes and a little and spicy jalapeno. jalapeno. You got it, so. exactly. So we've seen this across the country, whether you're in the South and you love yeah. the spicy or you're in the Midwest and you like, what's something a little bit more tame? It's great for you. I got distracted by the tacho. I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We don't skip a beat. Give me a fork. Yeah, Can we dive food? in? Absolutely. Yeah. That's what we want you to do. Woo. For sure. All right. What should we eat first? Let's start down here with the I green agree. cheese cavatappi. I, I agree. She saw me so, it. So, no. Is cavatappi like a, a fancy name for like macaroni and cheese? Yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah. just a twisty noodle. So okay. we wanted to elevate your normal mac and cheese. So this okay. is commodity processed mm -hmm. with barrel cheddar cheese, but it's kind of elevating what you might see. And so just kind of looking at what all the chains are doing right. out so that people could kind of do what they see on the street and what people are getting at restaurants today. So oh, good. Uh, you said barrel cheddar? Mm -hmm. <sighs> yes. That's and then we've got fancy. Romano. Fancy, right? Super fancy. <laughs> right. Yes, yeah, so you're going to have three cheeses in there. It's yes. Parmesan, Romano, and the barrel cheddar Ooh. cheese. And that's the commodity processing that you're going to see there. Whole Marcos. grain rich. 
you would never taste that whole green rich, right? Mm -mm. That is good. Yes, I Please love keep, it. Please keep talking. And, and the color, too. The color is exactly. not brown. Exactly. No, it's not brown. And I think we've done a lot of work with mm -hmm. the place we work with to source our pasta. So mm -hmm. it, it's really even hard to tell that <laughs> it's, it's a whole grain rich <laughs> pasta in there. It's mm -hmm. got a great bite mm -hmm. and it holds up well mm -hmm. sure. through a lunch service. Yeah, that's delicious. So six ounces of that is going to be two meats, one grain. So a lot of schools will pop a breadstick with that and it's a really great entree. Mm -hmm. You can do a vegetable variety with the, we've got that there and it's, uh, you know, with just a little bit of carrots and <laughs> broccoli, obviously you want to serve that to make sure you're getting mm -hmm. your whole veg credit. And then we've got a couple of our little pretzel bites with that that are just some Ooh. whole grain rich. Um, and yeah. what I love about this is this, these are, are those buffalo meatballs? Oh, actually those are pop popcorn chicken, buffalo sauce oh. popcorn chicken. Yeah. So the buffalo mac is so huge too. We've seen that across the nation with on the menus. So what we've got here is one meat meat alternate with the pasta, one grain. The other grain is going to be coming from um, the pretzel bites and then the popcorn chicken on top. Again, two meats, two grain, great entree option. And you've changed the flavor profile exactly. completely by adding the buffalo chicken. Exactly. Clever. Exactly. And then spinning off of the buffalo chicken, we've got the celery and the carrots that you see everywhere when you go out and get buffalo chicken. Complete reimbursable meal right there. That's that, that was the same thing I was thinking, yeah, changing right. flavor profiles and all that. Yeah. I had the same thought. Um, same thought. Awesome. Tell me about the rotini and meat sauce. Absolutely. Yeah. So another Wonderful great product. pasta product that we have, and this is really, it's our um, clean label, allergen free. A beef spaghetti sauce that's seasoned with a little bit of uh, basil and we've got a little mm -hmm. garlic in there. Very popular across the board, mm -hmm. but it also mm -hmm. has a little bit of a better upscale look just by using a different noodle. It's not as sloppy for right. the kids to eat. It's mm -hmm. easier to, to spoon. So mm -hmm. we've got that here as, as is and then we just has it topped with a little bit of Parmesan cheese and a whole grain rich breadstick. Yeah. And we pass that over here. Yeah. 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 So this, yeah. Stop holding out on us. So this is going to be the two meats, two meats, one yeah, grain, and we pop the breadstick oh, with you. it as well. Um, and again, just like Amy said, this is really taking the cumbersome mm. spaghetti noodles that Good. the staff hates to serve and making it really easy. So you just use, um, you just uh, use a nice dish and then you've got that entree oh. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. So Very glad you good. like it. So and I've seen a lot of people too where they'll use that as the base of a kind of pasta bake. So mm -hmm. again, pop mozzarella with it. You have a lot of versatility. It's not just mm -hmm. a spaghetti and meat sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. Delicious. Yes. So I hear you have some sort of game in store for us. That's What's right. Going on? I love like games. It. That's Can right. Can we play a game? I'll play a game. Yeah. Four games. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's make it happen. We have a very special chef joining us today. We do. Who might that be? Well, I don't know. Let's see. Is Chef Marlon in the building? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> chef Marlon. Thanks for having me. You. I've been dying to be here. <laughs> you seem to have lost your accent, Chef Marlon. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. What's the name of your restaurant again? Uh, it is called better than Amanda's restaurant? No awards yet though, right? I have all the stars. All the stars? All of them. All the awards, I believe you. We are so good at my restaurant, I can cook with no arms. I will even cook with someone else's arms. Oh my gosh. Oh my well, gosh. I have to try that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. okay. Here we go. All right. Why don't we do a nacho? Since we know the kiddos love the nachos and we've okay. got some great ingredients here, so let's see what we can do. All okay. Right. All right. Start with some, some start. chips. What's, a, what's the base of a good nacho? Probably a nice mm. corn chip. Yeah, corn. Yeah, the spice. I like to the taste all my food yeah, before I put it in my dishes to make sure it's quality, you know? Yeah. Right. yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Oh. You gotta have the taco, Allison. You um, gotta get it. You yeah. gotta get in there. Okay. This Mix is good. everything together. And then this is gonna be great. Can I have a piece of lime, please? You gotta please? have the green. Oh. You gotta have the green. All right. Yep. How about that? Oh. Rice. Yeah. And finally. Ooh, sour cream. You gotta have a little sour cream. Wait, wait, wait. I need to taste it. I need to taste it. And You're gonna don't forget taste. the cheese. No, it's right here. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. You Would you like to try cheese. some? Uh, I'm, gonna, so I'm gonna pass. Are you sure? I'm gonna. Yeah. Oh, 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 man. Oh, <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, gosh. That was so good. So that looks it's great. So what do you think, Amanda? Would your students love that? Um, I yeah. think my students would <laughs> mm. definitely have some opinions. I got some hair in my mouth, so oh, my, my, my mustache. Oh, a little bit. A little bit of flavor. Crazy um, town. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to step back just great. a little bit. Great. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you don't want to try this? Oh, you know, it's Marlon, so, so good. I'm not so sure that's the kind I like. No? Really? <laughs> but it looks good. I mean, like, clearly I'm getting stars for this, right? You are. 
And what, what, what would you like to call us? I will let you name the signature taco, because I know you love tacos. I, I, prefer, or bowl. I prefer not to have my name associated with this. Your loss. Well, uh, Chef Marnell, you must be full from that incredible meal. Oh, it's so good. But I think we need some dessert. I'd agree. Right? Let's see what we got. <laughs> Let's do this. In celebration of the 40 years in service, GTM, we have this lovely birthday cake. Okay, Happy birthday. You. And thank you to all of our viewers for watching this episode of First Taste TV. Go to firsttastetv.com <laughs> for more information about GTM their and their products. And find us next time on First Taste TV. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>